Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you the all natural 30 gallon tank that I've been talking about for so long. If you remember from before, if you watched our last video, we had a salamander in here, but that salamander grew up and we let him go in a creek. Go watch that video if you haven't already. But now that the salamander is gone, we have our own tank that we can do whatever we want with. So what I chose to do, I really wanted to make this the 30 gallon all natural tank I want to make it look like a pond or a creek or a river that we would find around here locally that you would find by your house or something like that. So that was the goal. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to show you all the different fish and plants I put in here and just what I think. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. Okay, let's start off with my personal favorite right now. This is a largemouth bass and I caught him out of a ditch with a throw net. Um, this guy is just so hungry. He just wants to eat all the little fish. But fortunately, there's no fish in here that are small enough for him to eat. I don't think he can get hold of the little catfish, which I will talk about in a second because they have the little spines on them, which protect them. But this guy loves crickets, and I will be doing a bloodworm feeding soon. All right, next we have the carp. I have mixed feelings about these carp because... They're plant destroyers, all right? I had so many different types of plants in here. I had lily pads. I had this weird plant. Um, I don't know. I don't even know what it's called. I've never seen it before. I got it out of a pond. I can't even keep my camera on these fish. But these guys are carp. And I have a sneaky suspicion that they're related to goldfish. I also caught these two with a throw net. They look just like goldfish, and they act like them too. They just destroy plants. So they're okay. I have mixed feelings about them. They're really cool. They like to stick together, swim around. They eat a ton of food. I feed them multiple times a day and they go crazy for the food. They're fish. They're a different type of fish that is uh, in this area. And so I decided to put them in the tank and see what they do. I don't know if I'll do it again because like I said, they destroy the plant. Um, they literally just snap that plant in half, as you can see. And I had lily pads in here too. But they also snapped and shredded their roots like crazy. Let me let me let me just like defend myself before everyone goes crazy. Okay, this is what I think is an Asian carp. Um, I could tell. I don't know the, the body shape is just different. It, it definitely looks like an Asian carp. Um, and in transportation, he like you know how Asian carp they jump like crazy when boats come by. Well, I think when in the car he was just jumping all over all over the place, uh, and he beat himself up pretty bad. He's not seeming to adapt too well to the tank area. Um, obviously, he's pretty big, but he just seems like super confused all the time. I might have to take him out, but for now, he's been in here, and he's he's alive, and he might be the culprit of eating some of those plants. But I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what I'll do with him in a future video, but for now, I he's in the tank. And if I, like, shut the door really loud, he just, like, will literally jump and spray water everywhere. It's kind of crazy. All right. Let's finish this thing off with one of my favorite fish. These are catfish. They're bullhead catfish. I think they're yellow bullheads. Not exactly sure. I caught these guys because when they were swarming. They swarm um, when they're young in small ponds. And you can just easily, easily scoop them up with a net. But they like to stick together. They're super cool. They like to hide unless there's food out. But there they are. They are just awesome. I love watching them. They're so cool. They swim around. They go usually go pretty fast. They dig around the sand. And I just want you guys to notice. I feed these guys three or four times a day and just look look at the sand. It is completely cleared because these catfish clean it up. So does the carp. They eat everything they can. And uh, tank is looking super, super, super clean because of them. And I, and I just I love the catfish. They're just, I don't know. It's, it, it's a contest uh, between the bass it was just like, you know, a deadly predator and the catfish who were just like crazy and I don't know. They just have their personalities, I guess. The carp are just stupid. Look at the carp. They're just so confused. They're just like, I don't even know what's happening. Like, oh, a glass wall. Okay, I'm going to do a quick feeding for you guys just so you can see all the fish come out. I'm not going to feed the bass because that means I have to go catch some food. Uh, usually I just get crickets for him right now. I'll be doing blood worms and worms later. But for now... I'm just going to feed the carp and the catfish because they go out like crazy. Um, the bass, he just gets confused because he doesn't see any. They're just like little flakes. 
So when I feed them, I have my goldfish flakes. I also have some old fish food, different types I just use. I also have these, which are like super, super, super old, but goldfish like them anyway. So I'm gonna do a quick feeding and you guys can see all the catfish come out. It's pretty crazy. I have, I think eight, it's super hard to count because they swim so fast and everything. I've counted seven, eight, so I definitely at least have eight. There may be nine in here, but they are super cool. So I'm gonna give, I'm gonna do a feeding before, and so they'll come out of their little like, um, they have like a little cave back there they like to hide in. So let's get to the feeding. Okay, I got my flakes, and usually I just put it right under the filter because the creek they were in, the ditch, it was super, super, um, I don't know, there was like, there's flow, and they like to go against the flow. And so what they like to do, is they like to sit right under and the food flows down and look, oh, look at all the catfish. They go crazy, they go absolutely nuts. Look at them. They just go crazy out to the food. They're all swarming over there. And yeah, so basically catfish clean up everything off the bottom. Sometimes they go up to the top. Carp just do what they can. Look at them. And see all the food, how it just floats down and the carp just go crazy. Look, oh, you just spit it out. Yeah, I love, I love these fish. I love the catfish. Carp are okay. Bass is cool. Asian carp, he's confused. I don't know what we're going to do with him. But here we go. I think it's time for a quick montage. What do you think? Well, you can't talk, so we're doing a montage. ideas for fish that you think might be able to go in here and live with these guys. There's a lot of different options or things I could try to get, but comment down below what you see, what you want to see in this tank. Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya!